top 10 blind buy for the first time on my channel. Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. This is Clémence. I talk about fragrance and welcome back. We talk about the top 10 blind buy if you're watching uh, YouTube online and you want to buy yourself a new fragrance, you don't know what to go for and it's hard to see the composition on fragrance ticket, this is the list for you. I asked my community on Instagram to tell me what is the fragrance they will definitely blind buy or recommend to blind buy, a safe option for you guys. Let's see, let's comment on the choices. Number 10, Terre d'Hermès. Ah. That's probably the only fragrance I will definitely say you can buy it. There won't be that much drama on it. Like, actually, it's a fragrance that I actually gifted, uh, to, gifted to family or, you know, like, uh, friends. I know it's a classy fragrance, uh, but I know some people really hate it because of the bitter orange and vetiver. So it's... <laughs> quite a safe option anyway like a designer i think uh, compared to a niche like you you don't go too crazy like for me like a safe blind buy is also something that is not too expensive for your purse nine they voted for tom ford noir extreme I, 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 a lot of people like it it's like a vanilla warm spicy sensual it's really on trend uh, but there's a lot of people that don't like that at all. Like vanilla fragrances, like it moves on the skin. You you should enjoy it, you know. But again, like it's a question of taste. So for me, like it's really hard. I think on men, it's very sexy. Uh, when I asked you the question, like uh, which fragrance you love the most on men, like I think a lot of women say noir extreme. Uh, like we all know that a touch of vanilla makes it quite sexy. Like you want to eat it. Right, Jerom Intense. So what to say? <laughs> It's always on the top of my list of sexiest fragrance for men when I ask the community or when I ask anyone. So it's definitely a safe option for me. Of course, you need to be aware that there's a bit of a flowery note with the iris. What's happening? It's okay. But other than that, I think it's really beautiful and you don't really make any risk. Seven. I was actually surprised, but then when I thought about it, not too surprised neither. Uh, Reflection Man by Amouage. What a beautiful fragrance, especially in Europe. US, I think we are pretty aligned in now. Like it's quite something uh, relatively new for men to wear a floral, a floral tone like fragrances uh, because because you know men like they are oh, uh, you know like uh, what's floral for men which is absolutely ridiculous to me but anyway like you know for example you go to middle east uh, they do love uh, their floral men and uh, i've seen a lot of men wear like wearing a powerful world fragrance and be like wow it's beautiful this is more um white floral i think it's very gentleman very well done and i love the fact that in amouage there's a lot of richness in the ingredient Again, because it's like quite changing for me. I would always say like have a smell before. Number six is YSL Libre. Yes, it's a unisex list. So I just took the one that had the most votes. It's got like a quite unusual note, which is a lot of strong lavender. So I would make sure the person is like not repulsed by lavender before. <laughs> but other than that, for me, it's a staple in my collection. I think uh, uh, when you can classify a fragrance as a dumb rich, I think it's a great fragrance to blind buy because it makes it quite safe you see something that i wear every day like that i love to wear to feel uh, really feminine personally but also uh, classy uh, without giving too much like it's quite easy to wear to me i think, I think it's a great blind buy <laughs> it's really upset me to say this number five none <laughs> A lot of you guys voted on Instagram, none. No blind buy is a safe blind buy. It's definitely what I think. This is why I never did a blind buy video in my fragrance channel. When I have like some of my subscribers being like, oh, Clemens, like, why should, should I blind buy this one, this one? I'm like, no, don't. I know that it's not always easy uh, for you to, to sniff the fragrance before or to go to the perfume store before or to get yourself a, a sample. But I would always say be patient. Of course, objectively, you can say a fragrance is very beautiful, but I do hate some fragrances that are super beautiful. You need to be aware that it's very subjective and even though you name uh, like all of the planets loves it, you might hate it. But like, yeah, I watched the composition on Fragrantica and I think, uh, I think it's made for me. I think this is exactly what I like. And uh, me, I'm like, 
I've seen so many fragrances that are not smelling at all what the composition looks like. If you watch reviews, you can get yourself an idea of it and maybe it's safer, that's why we do video anyway. But always like, make your own journey. I'm not the kind to be like, okay, no, buy it, it's amazing. Like, you, you, don't, you don't need to smell it, trust me. No. Like, especially on niche, when you spend over a hundred pound, a uh, hundred dollars, whatever, on a fragrance and you blind buy it, for me it's too much. I, I would not do that myself. The only fragrance I blind bought myself is a very cheap uh, Amazon fragrance, for example, or very, very cheap uh, designer. The rest, all my niche, I've smelled them before. Yeah, I want, uh, like, no. <laughs> Number four is Gris Charnel by BDK. Even if I don't advise blind buying, I would actually talk about this one too. So I was really happy to see so many people voting for Grey Chanel. I think what I love with this fragrance is how unit sex it is. The woody smells like sweet to me, like it's a soft velvety but at the same time very dry woody, a little bit powdery at the end. It's super sensual. I love the fact that it's not too intense and it's still something that is very easy to wear every day. Very classy. It ticks a lot of boxes for me in time of occasion so I highly recommend for you to try because it's a beauty. Uh, top 3 Letton by Parfum de Marly. Uh, I'm not surprised to see that here. The spicy tone and the warmth at the end of the fragrance and, and the fresh undertone at the start. I think it makes like a fragrance that is overall great, a great balance. You won't be surprised by its smell. You, you won't be able to really dislike it. It's a nice fragrance. Like I, I personally not really talk too much about Leighton on my video, but I can agree that it's beautifully done fragrance and I I can't complain, like I smelled it on a man before and I think it was gorgeous, <laughs> especially like for a dinner date, you know. It's not the most creative, but I think that's why it makes it like a good blind buy. Number two is Naxos. Where is mine? Naxos, where are you? Naxos, uh, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Too expensive for a blind buy. Jesus, try it before. I can say that is one of my favorite warm tobacco smell. The word is not intoxicating. It's just addictive trail. Like you can smell, uh, you know, the velvety trail behind someone when you're wearing this. It's incredible. It smells super luxurious because of the richness and the depth of the ingredients. So for me, yeah, the bottle stunning. I don't think you will be disappointed. I bought this one for half the price i think uh, one of my dear friend youtuber had a little uh, opportunity so you know i wanted the fragrance since a long time but uh, before i actually made the purchase i smelled it twice i smelled it on a man first of all and i was like oh my god what's your perfume because like it was just it's sm it was smelling like a gentleman, but with a modern twist, like, you know, vanilla-like twist. I was like, what's, what's that? Like, it's kind of heady, but I very like it. And there's an aromatic vibe in there. Beautiful lavender. It's soothing at the same time. It's incredible. And then after I went to Selfridges, I was like, I smelled it all that. I was like, just two seconds. And I was like, it's out of this planet, this fragrance. So actually, I'm going to wear that today. Yeah, I spray a lot. But then after you can't smell it. Like you can't smell it. I see some people like they spray two spray and they're like, oh, I don't smell it around me. Of course, spray more. <laughs> One, which is something that I agree on. Uh, Bleu de Chanel, of course. <laughs> Uh, no, but I, I really enjoy Bleu. I think it's a generic fragrance and I think it suits a lot of people. Oh, you don't take much risk with Bleu de Chanel. Like, it's literally the, the smell of a man like we imagine, like we have in our head. You know, like a, a warm, ambery trail for the... Uh, get the other parfum. Warm, ambery trail, a punchy a start with grapefruit and then like a ginger that gives it something like a bit more spicy, you know, in the smell. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's really nicely done. I'd rather uh, take that than a Sauvage 100%. I think it's much more classy. Again, like a dumb rich in a collection. When I blind buy, I definitely go for this type of fragrance because I know I won't be disappointed. You're not expecting crazy. It's a great investment. You will definitely use it. You will never hate it. I don't think someone can say it's disgusting. No. no like, it's okay. Like, you know. 
No, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, for me, that that was a, a bit more of a tragic subject. That was a long time. I wanted to, to, to talk about blind buy, but I could I couldn't do the list myself. I don't want to be responsible of this. <laughs> you can subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Leave a little like, share, comment. It's always appreciated. I will see you very soon. Bye now. Je t'emmène dans mon paradis bleu